Okay, Royal Enfield seat from Seat Concepts. There's the seat done. Okay, relatively quick video on installing the Seat Concepts seat replacement for a tall. This is the existing seat. I've already put the key in, popped the pillion seat or pad. And next steps are going to be to take out these staples. We'll do that with this tool. I mean, that's the exact tool for it. A lot of other things will work. A screwdriver will even work. In theory, the seat's getting heaved, so no harm. Uh, anyway, so you've got the seat off. These have to come out, and you'll do that with a uh, number 10 millimeter. Take this off, and then these staples will have to come out. Once you have all the staples off, and there's the mound of them, and all I used was the, this tool, and work it from the side. Don't don't try and use it like a pry bar. Get the staple into the side. All you gotta do is lift one leg and then use a tool like this, pliers, anything to uh, get the other side out. Once it's all out, you're just gonna peel it off. It's elastic along its edge, which made it easier for them to do theirs. I don't think the new one is elastic. Okay, so, so far I took the staples out, took the cover off, went around the edge and slowly peeled the foam back because it was glued. It's, it's also glued on this side too, just not as bad. So I couldn't get this edge too much. It's tough to get in there. Uh, patience, it requires an extensive amount of patience. So in desperation, I had everything else. So I thought I'll get it off from here and then slowly peel it off here. Now, all that did was start ripping it. So don't do what I did. Just take your time, keep peeling, peeling, peeling until you get all of the lip free and then try and get the rest of it off. And here's what you're working your way towards. It was actually just glued just right along the perimeter and a good amount of glue here. So this is a travel point. So as you can see, a little bit of foam came off there. I don't think there's much to do about that, but none of this has glue on it. So once you get past this edge, it's generally smooth sailing. That's what the seat pan looks like on its own. Uh, next up, clean it with, uh, I've seen contact cleaner mentioned, so that's the same in my mind as brake cleaner. I'm going to clean it all up, look for any sharp edges, sand them down, make sure no broken staple legs are in it, and then I'll come back. Okay, Royal Enfield seat from Seat Concepts. There's the seat done. What they tell you to do is, oh, this is the gun. I had a staple gun, but in the Great Harbor Freight tradition, the staple gun that I got from Harbor Freight, they no longer sell staples for. So I had to buy another staple gun. Anyway, uh, seat concept says start at the front, and yeah, I still need a couple more staples here. Start at the front, then do the back, then go side to side, side to side, as you work your way back, and you're constantly checking that your lines, these seams should be just on the outside of the seat. Now, in one of their installs videos, a uh, guy said spray silicone underneath after you put uh, this on. So that went on with adhesive onto the foam. Just didn't say to. I just did that anyway. And then I did spray a little bit of silicone. It just helps the seat to move around. Front came fine. This side came pretty good. It's just when you get to here that I, I got grief. I got that little bit there. Well, it's it's looking even worse at the moment, but uh, long story short, that's a total that I cut off. In other words, in cutting corners to make these lie flat, but this is a problem area. I had to, a couple of times, take staples out, try and adjust things, and then put them back. That worked okay on this side. Didn't work okay on this one. Because of the way the pillion seat sits on, this sits against here, so you can kind of hide wrinkles in here. I'd say it's way more difficult than it looks, and it didn't come out as nice as I'd like, but you do sit much higher, and it is comfortable to hit the brake or hold a foot brake. Okay, so there it is now. It's a little bit better. It's tough to tell in here because it's, it's actually significantly better than it was. 
and the trade out is we all got moved back here, but it'll be hidden. When you're all done, work your way back around. When I took the seat off, it was almost continuously stapled, so I've tried to duplicate that. And that's it. It definitely sits higher. Uh, seems like a decent seat. I can't say much more until I've actually sat on it for a long while. Seat concepts. And here's what it looks like on the bike. Definitely higher.